Here's the 2023 Nissan Kicks SV. As you can tell, it's a compact SUV or some would say crossover. Beautiful headlights on this one. The grille is quite bold, it's quite large as well, which looks great. I do love those lines on the hood. Gives it some good character as well. You do have some two-tone alloy wheels. I believe they are 17 inch rims. Moving around to the side. Yes, it is a hatchback since it is a compact SUV. This one here does have the rear backup sensors, backup camera as well, tucked in underneath there. Those tail lights are very sharp. I do love that V pattern that they have going on there. Looks great. You do have the wiper blade as well. And then soft touch button underneath. For an SUV, it has very large cargo space especially in the trunk here 60 40 split you do have those anchors for any kids seats as well you do have a spare tire with jack and tools underneath you do get that nice cargo lamp so at nighttime it illuminates this very nicely as well you do get this nice rugged durable plastic uh, skid if you will so if you put anything large in there it's not going to scratch up the paint job but let's go take a look inside here. Starting from the panel itself here, it is fabric based where the armrest is, so it's nice and comfortable. The rest will be a plastic throughout with a little water bottle cubby, speaker grill, handle, and of course, power window. In the SV, you do get these nice, soft fabric seats. A little bit more rugged with some pattern design inside there as well for the center. Hopping in. As you can tell, it is theater seating in this, so it actually sits up the back passengers a little bit higher than the front row, which is excellent if you do get car sickness for the kids or anyone in the back. Knee room, decent amount of space. I am five foot nine. Head space is great as well. You do have some extra USB ports there to charge your devices, and you do have a rear pocket behind the passenger seat. But let's go take a look up front. On the driver door here, very similar to the back there, you do get that fabric for the armrest. A little bit of an accent there. Power windows in the rear. And of course, automatic for the actual front driver and passenger. Of course, you do get a heated steering wheel with the SV. Makes it nice and comfortable for those colder uh, winter days. Manual seating, you can, of course, lower or raise if need be. The seats do hold you nice and well. They added a little bit of stitch work throughout there. So you actually see that pattern real nicely throughout. Hopping into the car. You'll notice right off the go, it is half digital display. As well, you get this nice large infotainment system. You do get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto with that as well. Like I mentioned, it does have a backup camera with guidance line. So it shows you where you're going. And of course, you do get quite a bit of cargo space, good amount of leg room inside here as well. It is a push start ignition, so as long as the key's inside the car, you can definitely fire it up. Yes, you got heated seats. You got the two temperature zones for that. And of course, with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you have Spotify, you can have your uh, Google Maps, you name it, can be all on there. For the display is actually quite sharp. You can actually customize it quite a bit throughout there. So you can customize the display, main menu, welcome effect. You can do a bunch of different add-ons. Yes, you do get your Bluetooth. Yes, you do have your advanced cruise control. Very comfortable. If you're looking for something very fuel efficient, highly recommend taking a look at one of these. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.